We play a round called Matt Hancocked It Up. <laughs> this game... <laughs> ...involves Milton and Case. If you could make your way over to the performance area, please. This round is a stand-up challenge. I launch a wheel of news and wherever it chooses to stop, one of our performers must step forward and talk about that subject. OK, here we go. Our uh, first topic, please. Let's spin the wheel. The first subject is food. Who wants to come in with that? OK. okay. Uh, I found out I became uh, middle class recently. I know, it was a blow to the heart. Uh, but I found out I became middle class recently <laughs> because I became lactose intolerant, right? <laughs> Social mobility, guys. That's why Thatcher took away the milk. She knew what she was on to, OK, right? <laughs> but it's annoying being lactose intolerant, man, because I realise there's certain things I'm never going to be able to do. Like, I'm never going to be a superhero. You look at Superman's weakness, it's kryptonite. What's mine? A chock ice. Like... <laughs> you know, who's my arch enemy? The milkman? Like... <laughs> It's annoying, there's so much things you can't do, like, do you know what I mean? Like, girls will say things like, my milkshakes brings all the boys to the yard. I'm just there, like, can't come. But... <laughs> do you have a soya-based alternative? <laughs> you don't even sound hard asking for soya milk. I go into coffee shops asking for it like it's an illegal substance. Like, yo, yo, yo. You got soya? <laughs> and the guy still makes it obvious. One soya latte! <laughs> It's funny, though, how some, some foods have, like, class attached to it now. Like, people always bring up hummus and falafel, which to me is very weird, cos I'm from the Middle East, and uh, in the Middle East, hummus and falafel is just street food, which begs the question, is the same thing going on over there? Like, you know, downtown Dubai, Mohammed and Ahmed, they're looking for something new to it. He's got, oh, I've got a new delicacy, you're going to love it. What is it? Shepherd's pie. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Right? <laughs> Fatima and Layla walking around Beirut, you know, I've got some new classy establishment we can go to. What is it? Gregus. <laughs> well done, Kay. Thank you very much. <laughs> that leaves us with Milton. Let's see what your topic is. Let's spin the wheel. And the topic is danger. <laughs> this morning. I attached a lock to the front of my house to slow down burglars who arrived by barge. <laughs> what if the threat of diabetes combines with Islamic extremism in a new terror group called Chock Isis? <laughs> a couple of days ago, I failed my driving test for going 31 and a half miles an hour. In a primary school. <laughs> My uncle, he had a camera inserted internally, but he was annoying the wedding photographer. <laughs> if you've got to tell someone bad news, best thing to do is to cut the words into the back of their hair. <laughs> I'm sorry, I crashed your car. Because <laughs> then when you show them in the mirror, they'll probably just say, oh, that's fine, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you get into a fight with someone, hit them as hard as you can straight away. Although I now know with hindsight that when my grandmother said, do you want to take this outside, she was talking about my bike. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, thank you very much. Points there go to Milton Jones. Come on, both of you.